Hello, I'm Sky Mangrum for HowToRunBarefoot.com and today we are going to talk about the ancient power bar. And a few of you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it is of course the chia seed that was uh, popularized by the Taramara people who run long endurance runs about uh, 200 miles or more at a time, which to me seems impossible. But one of the things that they take with them on these runs are the chia seeds. Um, and if you give them a try, you will see why the Taramara people swear by them. Now there's two forms that chia seeds come in. Um, one is a powdered substance, where's the powdered chia seeds, where they're all ground up, um, and that's really good if you're going to mix it with something like a smoothie. Um, and the other form are just the whole seed, and that you just scoop, put it in your water bottle, and shake it up. Now the chia seeds are not the most appealing substance um, to keep your energy up. Of course, like there's energy bars that are chocolate java crunch deliciousness and it's not going to be anywhere near that tasty, but the thing is with those bars, um, I find that you get like a high sugar rush and you're good, but then you have like a crash later. Um, so chia seeds are all natural long um, long term energy sources um, for big uh, for marathons and for endurance running um, if you're going to run 10 miles or more you should really give chia, chia seeds a try and see how they sustain your energy over time um, so I hope you've enjoyed this little video and you can find chia seeds at the local GNC or you can find them at the grocery food store um, in the health food section. So where you've got the yoga teas and the alternative um, organic goods is probably where you'll find the chia seeds. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you did you can check the website at www.howtorunbarefoot.com and there's a free report there if you want to download that for beginning barefoot runners. It covers a lot of things like the 10 things to carry with you in your medical kit when you first start barefoot running to keep your feet in shape. So if you're out there running and you get scrapes and things like that and cuts and whatnot on your feet, you're prepared and you can patch it up right away. So that's really, that's really good for you. And then um, also uh, to how to handle swelling and things like that in your feet when you first start running if you overdo it. Um, hopefully five minutes to start. If you haven't seen the other videos on how to start, five minutes to start so you don't overdo it. And also see how to run on hot surfaces is in there as well. So I hope you've enjoyed my little video and thank you for watching.